Hi right, guys, welcome back to Scotty's Backyard Barbecue, where barbecuing is a way of life, folks. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a can cooker that I won off the Trumpet Master 7-7 giveaway show. These have been around a long time, and I'm sorry to say I've never heard of these guys. So let's open her up. Let me bring you down. Alright yeah, guys, here it is. We'll open her up together. Got this in the mail yesterday. Today we're going to be making a simple beef stew in it. See how it works. Be great for ice fishing, I guess. Inside we got a packing slip. Nothing fancy there. Ooh, and inside the box is another box. Comes packaged really nice. I guess these come in different sizes. One gallon, two gallon, five gallon. This one looks like the one gallon. It says dinner by the campfire. You can use this out camping, ice fishing. In my case, it'll be ice fishing around the campfire, sharing stories. Great meals made easy, no grease, oil, or frying. Works on campfires, easy cleanup. Kind of like a pressure cooker. A complete meal in less than one hour everywhere you cook. Gets dozens of free recipes if you go to the cancooker.com website. You can make eggs and sausage and fish boils and all sorts of stuff in it. Today we're going to be making a, a beef stew. I guess they make other products. They got like a little burner. You can use it on top of a burner. Today we're going to try it on a induction heater and see if it works. If not, we'll take her outside throw it on the old Weber. You're supposed to be able to, able to put this on fire on your pit. There, it comes very well packaged folks. We'll get rid of this box. Now, I won this in a contest, remember, right? They're not sponsoring this video or nothing. So. I'm doing this all on my own, free charge. Looks pretty nice lightweight for camping and stuff you want to pack it in somewhere the inside has got some type of a black stuff inside maybe non-stick comes with a little recipe book and all sorts of neat stuff nice cool recipe book all right and we got a lid with a gasket on it you put that on there and you clamp her down all right folks Hang on, I'll go wash this out with some soap and water. I'll be right back and I'll get everything set up and I'll show you what we're cooking. Alright guys, it would not work on the induction heater. I think this thing's made out of aluminum. So we're moving inside to the stove. I wasn't gonna go outside and fire up the Weber, but it was too nasty weather out there. So anyway, <clears throat> let's give it a try on the stove top, folks. We're gonna make some beef stew. What we got here is some stew meat, about one pound. I'm gonna mix it in with some flour, spices. We're gonna throw in a about three tablespoons of this Lucky Shake on with the meat. I'll leave a link to this Lucky Shake, boy. This smells good. I don't know about the rest of you, but I can sure thank Tommy from the Gallery Backyard Barbecue and Riddle for turning me on to the Uncle Steve Shake. That's some good spice rub there, folks. Believe me, being 60 years old, I've tried just about every spice rub out there. And Uncle Steve's is pretty damn good. All right, let's go on with the can cooker. We dusted it with some flour, about a half cup of flour, some Uncle Steve's shake, lucky shake. We're gonna put it right in here. I'll try not to get it in the way. Now, if you're out camping or ice fishing, 
you have this out on the open fire. Let me see, turn that heat up a little bit. I'm gonna brown this off. Ah. The old can cooker. Alright, we'll be right back, folks, after we brown this up. Alright, folks, we got that browned off pretty good. Now we're gonna have a little bit of this roasted garlic. Fire roasted garlic. Put that in there. Right now the smell coming off of this thing is really good, folks. That Uncle Steve shake. The garlic already in there. When we start to smell that garlic, pretty good. Then we're gonna add our rest of our ingredients. Which I cut up the milk claw. You know, I got some onions, some celery, some baby carrots. These little baby carrots I cut in little bite-sized pieces for the little guys. And right, we're gonna toss them all in there. Soften them up, translucent them. I was gonna do this out on the table, but the induction heater didn't work. And it is way too wicked weather outside. But anyway, we'll try out the old can cooker in the kitchen today, folks. Hey, maybe you got a cabin. You know, you got a small stove inside. This also works. Little wood stove. Put this on top of a wood stove. All right, we got that in. Okay, the downfall on this little cooker right now is these aluminum handles. They get extremely hot, folks. That's one thing I don't like about this, though. If you're using it out on the campfire, even on the stove like I am now, you will burn your hands. So you gotta be very careful. Yeah, that's starting to smell pretty good. Now what we're gonna add to that, this is your basic stew, folks. Nothing special, some beef stock, not broth. Pour that in. Nothing fancy here, folks. Trying out the old can cooker. Everything bite-sized pieces. We got that in. Uh, dab in a little W sauce. Throw in a couple bay leaves. A little pepper. Toss in a little bit of salt. And we're gonna stir this back up, get everything mixed in really good. Remember these handles is very hot, folks. That's about a half a pot. I probably could have got more in there, but I did it. Maybe we should add a little more water if you want, folks. That'll thicken up pretty good because we got a lot of flour in there and stuff. We're gonna add a little bit of, about a half a box of water. I don't usually like being water because water has no flavor. You could add beer. Beer would work. All right, now we're gonna put the top on. We're gonna latch this down. We're gonna put the heat down on medium. They say you want to see the steam come out in about 15 minutes. We're going to set a timer. 15 minutes. And see how we're doing. Alright, we'll be back when it starts to steam, folks. Alright, guys. We got a little boiling action going on. We got a little steam coming out now. we been approximately 8 minutes instead of 15. So I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. All right, we're gonna let this roll for an hour and a half. Don't come back and taste it, see how the can cooker did. All right, be right back, folks. I'll bring you back out to the table. One hour and a half. All right, guys, there it is. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes. The old can cooker. Let's dish this up, see how we did. Ooh, they got a bowl full of goodness there, folks. Nice and thick. 
thick hearty beef stew. Look at that. Alright. Move this out of the way. Remember these handles get pretty hot, folks. I wanna get a mitten on. Alright. Put that right there. Hang on a minute, folks. We'll be right back. Alright, folks. Better let that cool down a little bit. We're gonna get a mouthful of hot. <clears throat> While that's cooling down, folks, let's talk a little bit about the can cooker. You don't need to see me. Ah. It comes with this sheet, the settings, of what kind of stove. I'll leave that here a second. You can pause it and read it. Lowest setting if you're using a portable cooktop, stove top, gas, glass, three to four settings. You know, side burner on the grill, low setting. These kettles get hot, folks. I watch a lot of videos on these things right here. They don't talk about how hot these things get. This has been sitting for a while. This is still hot. Made out of a, I say aluminum. It's a good conductor of heat, so it doesn't take a lot of heat. That's why they recommend that you cook it on a low setting. You want to watch that cover. Make sure you get steam in the first 15 minutes. Comes with a nice little recipe book. Maybe we'll do a recipe out of here on this next cook. Got barbecue ribs for it, folks. One rack of ribs. Pepper garlic seasoning, wine soda, butter, favorite barbecue sauce. Maybe we'll try that. But right now, this seems to be a cool little kettle. I say I won this in a contest. You know, I'm not being sponsored by the can cooker company. I figured I'd try it out. You know, this guy's backyard barbecue, they never use a product just once. We'll be using this all winter. May take it out ice fishing, do a video out on the ice. All right, look at that nice beef hearty stew. Let me bring you in on that one, folks. There you go. Whoa. Let's try it out, see how this thing tastes. Remember, this ain't a video on how to make stew. It's a video on how to use the can cooker. So this is just a basic stew recipe. I like my stew nice and thick. Right there, there we go, folks. Mm. That is a very delicious stew, folks. If I can, I'll try to leave the recipe down there. And like I said, this is just my stew I normally throw together when I go out ice fishing. I cut everything in small, bite sized pieces for the kids, and it cooks fast. Mmm. Tell you what, that Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake and Stew. Can't beat it, it's heavy on pepper. Alright. That's gonna be my lunch today. Enough about the stew. Let's get back to the cooker. Let me get this out of here, folks. Without making a mess. Right. It even comes with a little bag. You get this little storage bag that comes with it. You can tie it up, put it in there, and haul it out to the lake. Out camping, out to your trailer. I recommend you cook anything in there. Cook it on low to medium low on your lowest settings. All right, because I can see you could probably burn the bottom of stuff. If you get it too hot, it'll probably burn really easy. So I recommend cooking on low. It's made by a can cooker. What's that, Seth? Seth McQueen. Seth McQueen's can cooker. It even comes with an owner's manual, folks. Comes in larger sizes. I'm not affiliated with them. Like I said, I won this in a contest. I didn't even have to do this video, but I figured I'd try it out. 
and it comes in two different sizes according to this book. You got a four gallon, feeds up to 20 people, and then the can cooker junior, which would be this one, holds up to two gallons and feeds eight people or one big fat YouTuber. Okay? Uh, you're going to see me using this on more videos throughout the winter. We're going to try that barbecue rib recipe they got, see how that is. Alright folks, thanks for watching. I rambled on long enough. I'll leave a link to where you can buy one of these. I don't even know how much they are, but I'll leave the link down there. Thanks for watching. Scotty's Backyard Barbecue, where barbecue is a way of life, folks. I'll have me some stew for lunch today on this cold winter morning.